Hey there friends, in today's video we're going to be resetting this iPod Nano 5th generation iPod. It's a very simple process, let's do it right now. Okay, so for this reset, and again this is going to be a factory reset process, you are going to need a computer with iTunes. You can see right there that I've got my Mac opened up and I've got iTunes open. I mean, I'm in dark mode, which is why iTunes is currently looking like this. I have my iPod Nano, and what I'm going to do is simply take my USB charger and I'm going to plug it into one of my USB ports on the right-hand side. And what that's going to do is it's going to automatically connect the iPod to my iTunes. Okay, so we are currently on my computer now. We're looking at iTunes. And what we're going to be looking for is actually up here, you'll have a little iPod symbol that will show up once your iPod is connected to your computer. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it's going to bring up all of our specifics on this Nano. It's a 15 gig Nano. And all the software is up to date. If you wanted to update your software, here's where you can do it. You can hit the check for update. But what we want to do is actually restore this iPod to its original factory settings. I'm going to click on that. And then it's going to bring this up and ask us, hey, are you sure this is what you want to do? Again, this is going to erase all of your media and other data, videos, all sorts of stuff that you have on your iPod. This will bring it back to those factory settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click the restore button. If there are any software updates, you can actually do the update at the same time you do the restore. And then it's going to go into the restore mode. So what we're going to be first doing is extracting the software from Apple. And it's going to be, again, giving us the latest software version for the iPod. And then it'll restore it with that newest software version. Here's what your iPod should look like during this restoration process. Okay, as you can see, it's been restored to the factory default settings. It's ready to restart. As you can see, the Nano is currently restarting. You'll get that Apple symbol. It'll take another few seconds and then it should come on in that cleaned up factory default mode. Okay, once it boots back on, you can see that you need to eject it before you disconnect. It's a very easy process. All you really need to do is come up here and either in iTunes or over here on the, the actual image file. You can take that and we can drag it down into our trash can. Slash eject button there. I'm going to click on that. And as you can see, it actually is ejected and now down on the iPod you can see that we are in the brand new configuration mode. So I'm going to go ahead and click on English here and as you can see zero songs, zero artists, everything has been fully reset. So that's the process friends. If that's helped would you guys hit that thumbs up button for me. It really helps us make more great videos like this and subscribe because we got a bunch more tutorial videos on the iPod and a bunch of other tech coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching.